All right. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to League of Legends. So in the last episode, we were in Season 10, and it's been quite a while. Uh, currently, we are in Season 11. You can tell my level went up. And uh, I wanted to try a couple different champions today. There are quite a few. That would be nice. I've got rune pages set up. Uh, Maokai is definitely going to be my first choice. Secondary, though, we can go ahead and go for a Morgana game, maybe a Blitzcrank game, maybe a Bard game. Really depends on what would be best for the enemy team. So let's hop into draft. Uh, currently we've got the Blue Essence Emporium going on in the shop tab. For 2,000 Blue Essence you can buy a Chroma for one of the skins that you have. I've gotten quite a hefty amount. I'm actually super happy I got... Meteorite, Battle Boss, Yasuo, I got the Morgana pack for a little bit of RP that I had left over. Obsidian, High Noon Jin, Obsidian, uh, Dark Star Karma, Obsidian, Arclight Brand. And then as far as skins go, I got Majestic Empress Morgana, Lunar Empress Lux, I got the Star Guardian Soraka Prestige, Star Guardian Ezreal, definitely not Blitzcrank. So we got skins for a lot of the champions that we play. Now I'm pretty happy about that. Other than that, though, uh, it's it's getting closer to the end of the semester for school, so have a little bit of extra free time to record instead of just trying to get a game or two in. I'm pretty hype for this game, though, because um, with these new Season 11 items, the couple champions that I play are really, really strong. Uh, Leandri's Torment is no longer in the game, but there's now Leandri's Anguish, which is a mythical item, which is way stronger, in my opinion. When they get affected by a spell, they burn, but now there's another thing similar to Leandri's Torment, where it's called Demonic Embrace, and it burns them for max health damage, like a percent. So you're burning them for AP scaling damage, and then also max health percent damage, plus whatever your spells do. So with champions like Morgana, if you build both of those items and then like a Relies Crystal Scepter, you can just destroy people. I've been fine just with like those two items, like I've been able to fight. But uh, we're going to go for Maokai. We're going to go AP and we're going to build an item called Imperial Mandate. And then we are going to go to uh, probably Demonic Embrace. And then maybe if we're facing a high AD team, we'll probably end up going, whatchamacallit, Thornmail. So yeah, to do damage with Maokai, he is a rare case where he does um, max health damage with his E, which means as long as you can stay alive and do some damage, you will generally be able to kill them. Uh, we do not want to fight a Leona, as she is like extraordinarily tanky, and generally she'll be able to stall you out during a fight if she were to go something like Sunfire, or anything with that effect, so like the Turbo Chem Tank... The Frostfire Gauntlet, anything that will bleed you out. Maokai AP bot does not really do well with. That fat Yasuo ban. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a Maokai skin. So we've got AD, AP, we're looking like 280s. If mid picks an AP champ, that's a pretty, pretty solid lineup. Nar can tank decently well um, in his Mega Nar form, otherwise he's just a pretty standard fair marksman. I don't know what item Nar goes. I don't play Nar, so really unsure. Uh, looking like Garen Zareth. Zareth's poke is going to be annoying, but he's squishy enough that I'll be able to kill him if I can get to him. Maybe poke him down with one of my saplings first. So if you don't know Maokai's kit, uh, it's really strong. He's actually a tier 1 support right now, which is pretty crazy. Uh, his passive is if I melee an enemy, it will heal me. 
and the cooldown scales with level. So, I'll, what is this team? I'll basically just be able to smack the enemy, either a minion, or if I'm jumping on somebody, I can smack them. And I'll heal from it. I need to crack open a soda once we get in game. But yeah, that's his passive. Uh, his Q, you smack the ground, and if they're close enough to you, they'll get shoved back. So you can uh, use his W to get in, and then Q the enemy back towards your team. And then they can just eat him alive. You can also use it to get them off of your ADC. Ooh, Zareth, Twitch. This is going to be interesting. And I don't have a Zareth skin, which is kind of sad, but I think I really want Victorious. Um, Haunted is really cool. Totemic is really sick. Chard is cool. I think all of the World Breaker skins are, like, super dope, but I think everybody that thinks they're the best skins in the game, uh, I don't know about that. I, I really think that Star Guardian, I enjoy Star Guardian. A lot of people like Dark Star. I like Dark Star. Um, Infernal skins usually look pretty good. Festival Queen Anivia, I think, is one of my one of my favorite skins. Like some champions just have like a weird <laughs> Like the skin is all about them. Like it's it's just them. Like there's no other festival queens. Like there's no other totemic champions to my knowledge, but Totemic Maokai is so cool looking. Uh, yeah, I want to try a couple different lanes, maybe, uh, in the next however many episodes we end up playing. I don't know why I'm yawning so much, my goodness. Let me grab a soda. I've got a fridge full of ginger ale, and I, I always have to, like, want to drink ginger ale. Also, Master Yi is going to be kind of rough. Um, Yi hates CC, and um, I think what I'm going to have to do is basically just lock him down when the fight starts. So, depending on who's the most fed... Uh, their team is really squishy, minus the Garen. So as long as we can get to their back line, we have a Malphite, who's going AP. Uh, we have a Hecarim, who can shove through, and we have a Nara that can... either use his attacks to hurt the Garen quite a bit, or just... Neither of them have Teleport either, which is kind of crazy, so there's... Other than our Malphite, we're gonna have not a lot of... map... movement... Other than, like, walking. So, Maokai's E is really the bread and butter of his kit, in my opinion. At least during the laning phase. And we're going to be building Imperial Mandate. I'll read that to you when we get where we're going. So, you throw a sapling, which stands watch for 30 seconds. It'll last longer if you throw it in a bush based on your health. It does 25 damage. Yeah, it does 25 plus 7% max health damage. Alright, it looks like they might be trying to invade. I'd really not advise we fight that. I'm not that strong level 1. Okay, he took lots of damage. If they walk close enough to that bush, my little sapling buddy is going to explode on them. So I have some pretty serious mana issues early game. Uh, I fix that quite quickly. I get some mana regen with a fairy charm. Uh, it's only 250? Yeah, it's 250 gold for a fairy charm, which will give me some regen. So if we get forced out of lane too quickly, it will... Be totally fine. We also have the Spell Thieves, which is 50% basic, uh, or base mana regen. So that will help. Okay. 
We threw that there because if they come from river entrance, they're gonna get chased by it and buy us some time. It didn't. It doesn't look like they did though. So they're gonna be heavily trying to poke us. And my poke stems from right there. If a baby jumps on them, she is going, or the Twitch is going to take some pretty serious damage. Either of them will. Um, Zareth took some heat. I just want to keep my saplings in bushes, because right then, he will sweep them with his body and just take a ton of damage. Twitch is going AD instead of AP. AP Twitch is terrifying. Alright, he is just... He's doing a lot of damage, but he's taking a lot of damage. Which I don't have a strong opinion on. They're a very poke-heavy lane. Um, we win in an all-in if they were to rush us, but... Ooh, more damage. At level 3, if one of them is low from a sapling, and I think I can all-in them by gra grabbing onto them and punching them back, I have exhaust instead of ignite, so I'm gonna be pretty heavily reliant on the Zaya for damage. I'm not trying to fight, though, if I don't have to. Uh, she burns heal. She's kind of not dodging. Okay, Hecarim's coming down. I don't really think... Alright, they're actually going to stay, though. I thought I could have grabbed him. I really thought I had the W when I flashed, but there was a little delay before I could input an action. Okay. We're fine. We forced them out of lane, to my knowledge, unless Twitch is going to stay. I think if he's invisible, he'll still set off my sapling. So I might be able to use that to sweep... He's looking to pick up a kill here. Zareth still has plenty of health and lots of damage. That's going to do a ton of damage. So yeah, my saplings just do ridiculous amounts of damage. That's not good. I'm going to tell her to stay back because Twitch is, is alive. Yeah, it's a, it's a good idea. It's a good idea to back. I'm going to leave some saplings, and I'm actually going to go ahead and back, because I can afford my Fairy Charm and my Amplifying Tome. Uh, going over Imperial Mandate, we're not doing Recommended. Recommended is for top, we're not playing him top. I'm going to go ahead and grab a Control Ward. Zaya grabbed one, probably for Tribush. Uh, I'm going to put ours, or the one that I got, on uh, our Hecarim's Red Buff. We're one to one right now. Nico has a kill. Malphite has a kill. Looks like they killed each other. Um, yeah. So basically, Imperial Mandate. Any ability that I use that slows or immobilizes an enemy champion, which is literally all of my abilities. Uh, Do they take his red? They they took our red. He's on drag. He's he's definitely on dragon. I don't want to jump the gun by going in too soon. Okay. So, we're doing fine. Zaya is a little behind in farm. I don't think it's that big of a deal, though. I've got a biscuit for mana. I accidentally took that farm. And you don't have to put the... You don't have to put the saplings in bushes. You can put them out, but then they will last a flat amount of time instead of based on my max health. So, like, I could throw it out, 
and it'll get real interested in him and jump, and then that one will jump on him and do a bunch of damage anyways. 194. And the more AP we get, the more it'll do. So we are... completely just kind of able... It'll also... The damage will go up. Oh, I like that his, his voice is muffled based on his Omega Squad skin. I think that's really nice. Uh, I'm actually gonna go grab that, gonna just sweep the ward. Is he... he's not doing drag. He is... he is... he is doing drag. I'm gonna wanna not use my W in case Yi comes, because Hecarim will be able to finish the dragon while I CC him. Throw a sapling down... Uh, Hecarim did not have Smite. That was actually a pretty risky play. Zaya held lane down. She hit level 5, so... We're both we're both doing pretty well. Hecarim's down here, so if they push up too heavy, uh, he'll be able to come in and do something. Uh, take damage. Yep. That's pretty much what we want to do. We want to throw our little tree beasts over and over and over again. Our ult is called Nature's Grasp. It sends a wall of brambles, and if the brambles hit... Ooh, he's taking damage, damage. Yeah, AP Maokai, we don't really have mana issues now that we have our Fairy Charm. We really just needed that little bit of extra... We, we needed that little extra, the, the damage... That hit, that's good. Um, he might walk into a bush and get hit again. I just want one in the bushes that Zareth could walk into. He should learn by this point not to walk into bushes, period. But the more ability haste we get, um, the more we're generally just, we're, we're gonna be able to throw out more of these. Because you can have an unlimited amount as once, or, or at once. So now we have our ult. This is really going to be um, the CC for our team. Okay, they knew there was a sapling in that bush. Oh, Yi's coming. Okay, I don't know if we if we want to fight him, but actually, yeah. That was pretty well played. I did not need to burn flash, so we have it. The Zaya is actually pretty decent spatial awareness. They tried for the gank. Okay, I ended up actually hitting the Twitch, which is very nice. Zaya is targeting the... Cool. I'm not thinking we get him, nope. Uh, I might have been able to walk up, but I really think the Zer I don't. I don't remember if the Zerath flashed or not, and I did not want to give him the opportunity to recover. Um, our ult surprisingly comes back pretty quickly. Two minutes for a mass root is pretty decent. We're starting to get a little bit of health. We've we've got an extra two seconds on saplings that we put in bushes. My one worry is that. I don't want the Zaya with no mana to... I also don't want Twitch to jump her, because... Yeah, okay, that's, that's, that's about... Alright, uh, back off. Just, just leave. Zareth might ult? I think he'd be about dumb as hell if he did. I also got my free boots, which is very nice. But uh, more importantly, we can afford the Bandle Glass Mirror and the Kindle Gem. 
which will give us about 20 ability haste, which is how much the item gives. So, yeah, we've got a sapling every 8 seconds. I think one of them just tricked off my... Yeah, alright. Uh, I've got Nature's Grasp as well. It doesn't do that much damage, but the longer they go for it, it can do up to 2.6 seconds, which is more than enough to kill Squishies. It also uh, ramps up in speed as it goes a little bit. Seventeen percent max health damage. So yeah, the higher the higher AP you go, you can actually get quite a bit of you you can you can get quite a bit of damage on a Maokai, especially if you're fighting in the jungle where there's a lot of bushes that you can use. Uh, if they have to come to you and you set up your saplings and bushes, if they just run out and jump, they're gonna lose like a fifth of their health. And for a Garen, that's insane. For a Garen, that can be like eight hundred health. Okay, so it didn't look like we were actually able to get a hold of the Zareth. Uh, I don't think that we should... I don't... Okay, I don't think we should chase that hard. I don't think... I don't think that was worth a flash ult. Uh, dragon priority is very important. However, we did get a pretty clean kill, so what you want to do is you want to knock them away from safety with your Q, and then you want to ult back at them, so it's pushing the wave towards your team so they can't outrun it. Because that's one of the biggest weaknesses, is a lot of time, if there's a fast enough champ like a Hecarim or like a Fizz can dodge it, the Fizz is going to want to save the E for your team while um, they get hit by the root. So you need to you need to be careful. I know being careful is boring, but it's really how you it's really how you win games. And the the best thing is they can't target my sapling with they can't target my sapling with spells or anything. And I've already got my ult back in eight seconds. So I mean, I understand why it's a tier one support. This is this is ridiculous. An ally has been slain. I do indeed understand why this is a tier one. If the Twitch tries to get ballsy and poke my Zaya, yeah, look at that damage. That damage is absurd. It's doing seventeen percent of their max health plus another two hundred. And since they're squishy, like we're already just dismantling them. They're at 427. Okay. I need to get more vision on River. I don't think the Yi wants to come down on me because my CC is too... ridiculous. My R does 190, so if they get, like, hyper low, I can hope for a... Oh. Okay, they burnt, they burnt heal. That's all I needed. I didn't even need to actually see that he burnt heal. I just saw his health go up like that. Because he doesn't have shield bow, if that's what he's... I think he's going for Kraken Slayer. For me. Uh, Yi is mid. Gonna fight the Malphite. Malphite is just eating people. Okay. We're, do we're doing big damage. That's, that's really what I'm... Really, what I'm concerned about. It wasn't even max level yet. We are honestly cooking with gas. Enemy bot lane is 0101 apiece. Uh, we can afford Imperial Mandate. So, this is going to be giving us a pretty hefty damage boost. Next, we're going to go to the mage page and we're going to be going for Demonic Embrace. 
Uh, dealing ability damage burns 1.2% max health every second for 4 seconds, and we get armor and magic resist if a champion's affected, plus more if um, more than one champion is affected. So you can really get some pretty crazy amount of, like, max health damage. So even a Garen is just going to get, like, shredded. Because if I just throw the E on myself when I root him, it's going to be doing that damage plus 9%. So it's going to chunk for a tenth. I might use that twice during a fight. So that's about a fifth of Garen's health. And since I am... Uh, what do you call it? Since I am... I'm also not worried about the Garen. Yeah. So Imperial Mandate is going to give me an extra 79 damage when I hit something, and then if the Zaya hurts them, it's going to do more damage. But I can pretty much just, like, throw my E in, and E just takes damage. Hold him under tower. And you can also leave them behind you when you go to take a tower or anything. I'm not even concerned about killing him. I'm headed to... Oh, he made a mistake. He made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Yeah, I think he realized he was dead there at the end. <coughs> We're missing some health, so... Oh, Nico's here. Uh, Malphite does not have ult. She doesn't know I'm here, to my knowledge, though. Zareth is back. I'm just gonna get out of there. I'm really not... That thirsty for kills. Like, I'm really not thirsty for kills. Kills are nice. Um, don't get me wrong. I love kills. I don't know which one. Okay. Um, top. Okay, you hit my sapling because you're daft. Okay, he's really gonna run at us? Like, there's no way you're, you're that dumb. I've got ult in, like, a few. That was good. Good engage. I ended up dying, but, I mean, we got it. I'll type, oh, I died in chat. They really should not have tried to fight that, because... I mean, you're just, you're done. <laughs> We're going to be going Demonic Embrace, I think, is the correct choice for this team. It's going to up my... Oh, jeez, Nar's ending. It's been 20 minutes and he's, like, ending the game. I didn't even look top. Didn't even notch my trunk. I'm fine with pushing mid. Looks like this episode is going to be fairly short. They do have a Yi and a Garen, so... Um, if either of them can get a couple kills off, I definitely think they could turn things. But my team seems extraordinarily on top of, like, you know, not inting. Oh, uh, this Yi is very questionable. Malphite did end up dying. A true travesty. Um... You know, I've got ult back in three seconds. Throw some saplings down, try to get uh, the bait off. I'm gonna ult just to keep him safe. Yeah, you're, you're, you're taking damage. <laughs> I would like to go ahead and just like, whoop! Yeah, I was gonna die anyways. 
Malphite, I don't... Mm. Oh! He's nasty with it. The issue is after you after you spend your after you spend your combo with AP Malphite, it just becomes such a problem because then you do no damage. So I got my Sork shoes. I'm gonna grab a Giant's belt because that will make my saplings last for 46 seconds because I got some bonus health. So we do an extraordinary amount of damage. We have pretty unrivaled CC, and we have 2,000 health. I always like to leave my stats open just in case anybody cares. I'm at 159 ability power. 96 attack damage, which is not bad at all. Sap magic is a pretty good ability. They're doing Baron. This Malphite is bonkers. I really just have to keep my team safe. Oh, somebody's following up the rear then. Alright. Uh, I don't have flash, unfortunately. So she is going to get away. Uh, we do have Baron, though. I don't think there's a possibility that they win this. I think it's just over. I don't know why they haven't FF. I'm all for not FFing, though. We need to kind of get tower. Because, like, I can't... I can't actually tank that long. Yeah, he, he said GG. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty over. We can go ahead and grab inhibitor. Not a big... The coolest part about is uh, when Maokai's sieging, when he's trying to take towers and stuff, you can really just litter the ground with just saplings. And if, if somebody's primary tactic is to just charge at you and try to kill you, uh, they're going to lose most of their health by the time they get there if they go through a couple of my saplings. Because it's going to chunk about 10% of your health, plus, oh, I think one just, I think I just hit one. It might have been the Garen that died, yeah. Alright. Upping my W will give me more root time. We can get it up to 1.4 seconds, which is actually pretty decent. Hey. Hey. Hi there. <laughs> I'm so rude. Uh, he might just straight ult her. I... Mm. There's not a whole lot else she can do. We'll leave one of these for him. Uh, I can afford my demonic embrace. So they're doing well defending. It's not exactly... It's not exactly turning it around. We can go Void Staff. Uh, they're not really building MR. The Nico is, which is really smart. Also the anti-CC. So I think maybe something like Relies Crystal Scepter would be good on him. Malphite said still winnable. I don't... I mean, they have a Yi with Kraken Slayer and Ginsu's, so it's going to trigger the on-hit of Kraken Slayer. I just... The way they play, I don't see it happening. But with a cooldown of, of literally 7.6 seconds, you just you want to throw your E as much as possible. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's going to be game. That's certainly going to be game. My Zaya got a quadro. We did very well. We did very well for ourselves. It seems like AP Maokai is pretty strong this season. Especially in support. I feel like if I tried that top, they'd just walk all over me. Because poke really isn't viable top. You kind of have to be able to all in and Maokai 
is a little weak when it comes to that. We'll give the honors to Zaya. I think she definitely deserved them. Uh, I got an A. Pretty happy about that. I'm trying to level up as much as I can, so I'm playing a bunch, because ending the 16th, you can spend Blue Essence to get cool chromas and icons like this Darius one. Uh, we went 3, 2, and 7. It's pretty sick. I'd like to go ahead and look at the stat chart. Um, I dealt more damage to champions than the Hecarim and the Zaya. I also dealt more damage to champions than the Garen, the Twitch, and the Zareth. I dealt almost as much as the Yi, the Nico. Yeah. So I barely did any physical damage. Um, didn't do any true damage. I did a ton of magic damage, which I'm very happy about. Malphite with the 23,000 is pretty impressive. 34,000 total damage dealt. Yeah, so I didn't... Supports generally don't deal that much damage because that counts, like, on minions and stuff. And to dragons, barons, that kind of thing. So the junglers were actually pretty close. I feel like if Yi had a better team, he really could have... Really could have done it. We had good vision. Um, that's something I usually need to work on. We did not get much gold, but supports tend not to... 13 minions killed, the same amount as Yi. I dig it. Alright. Well, yeah, that was a really good game. Uh, next episode, I'd like to go ahead and try Morgana, but if we don't get Morgana, then we could go something like Brand or Bard. Um, or Blitzcrank. It's really up to whatever we feel like playing. So, yeah, that was a really successful episode. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you soon in the next episode.